Okay, so I already primed my lid, and today I didn't want to use anything that had any color to it, so I used um, this one by Elizabeth Arden, and it just looks like um, like eye cream when it comes out. Um, so I already have that on the lid. Um, next, I am going to take the uh, Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Coffee Cake, which is, this is the one that looks, um, out of all of them, looks more like a brown tone. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take this angled brush by, um, it's a fluffy angled brush by e.l.f. And they call this the um, defining eye brush. So I'm just going to push it into the product and pick it up. And then I'm going to be placing that in the crease, but I'm going to be going up just a little bit higher than my natural crease. And I'm just going to follow it along. Right here at this part, you can bring it down a little bit lower. Um, but you're not going to take it all the way down here. You want to leave a little bit of space right there. Or just leave it um, without any product. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more. Um, and it's better if you... Um, you know, go a little bit lighter handed with this, um, and then you can always build up the color. Okay, then I'm going to turn the brush and then just um, blend it up. Okay, next I am going to take a blonde type, which is just a matte cream colored shadow, and this one is by MAC. You can use anything, you just want it to be matte. And I'm going to put that on the lid. Up to that color that I have in the crease. And then I'm going to put this on the brow bone. Alright. And I'm going to take that same defining brush. And I'm going to take this color by Stila. And I'm taking this color here, which is called Almond on here. It's number 10. And it's exactly the color of an almond. So you just want something with that color. And it's also a matte shadow. So I'm going to place that color down um, right on top of the, um, the coffee cake that I had placed down. Um, but concentrating it on the base. And I'm also concentrating more of the color on the inner portion. I'm actually going to take just a little bit of that off the brush. And then I'm just going to start sweeping it up. Um, you almost want it to go up to the brow. I'm doing it a little bit messy, just trying to blend it in, but you don't want to drag the color down. So just kind of keep your brush in the same uh, look spot, I guess. Just like that. Alright, next I am going in with my um, black gel liner by Wet n Wild, which is just this one. And I'm also going to be going in with a um, stiff, um, flat angled brush. Alright, so I have that lined now on the top um, lash line. 
So normally what you do when you do a winged liner, well this is what I do, is I bring it from here, from the corner, and then I make a line. Um, but on the cover it kind of looks like this part of the line is a little bit feathered. So instead, I'm going to do the wing um, starting it from the top. So I'm going to go back up here. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more product because it's starting to tug because it um, doesn't have too much on there. Alright, so I have a little bit more on my brush now. I'm going to turn the brush. Okay, so you can see right there where it's kind of feathered. That's what you want it to look like on the bottom. Um, I just want to keep the line on the top nice and crisp. Alright, so now you want to start filling this in. But at the same time that you're doing that, you want to be going at an angle, as if you're drawing that line at the bottom. Oh, I hope that I'm not explaining that right, because that didn't make sense to me. <laughs> okay. So you can see that it looks feathered right there and it doesn't really look like a sharp line. Um, another way that might be easier for you to get that same effect is just to use a pencil liner if you're not really good at using um, the cream liners. Alright, so I'm going to um, curl my lashes and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I curled my lashes and I put mascara on, so now while we're waiting for the mascara to dry, I am going to go in with Mystery, which is a matte dark brown shadow. And I'm going to take a small pencil brush. And I'm going to place it at the bottom of the, um, the other colors that we put in the crease. Now I'm just going to start flicking the color up without adding any more product to the brush. Alright, just like that. And then um, now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. Um, you want to use something that's clean. This, of course, looks sturdy because I've used it on my other eye. Um, but when I say clean, you don't want something that has um, product on it, so just, you know, wipe it off with on a paper towel or whatever. That's good enough. And then you're just going to blend those colors together. When you get over here, just turn your brush so that it's not so wide and so that it doesn't take the color up so high. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do the lashes. Um, it looks like she tends to um, use half lashes. And if you're not used to putting on lashes, um, doing half lashes is a good way to start because they don't feel so heavy on your eye and it's also a lot easier to put on. And it is faster. So I'll show you what you need to do. Um, the lashes I'm using are from the, from the 99 cent store and um, I've said this before in another video to me they look like um, that they get them from the same company that manufactures um, for Red Cherry um, and this is the one that I'm using this is um, S1 so what you need to do is um, just get the lash 
peel it off and you're just going to meet the two ends together like this. It still has a little bit of the adhesive that it comes with in the package. So now they're stuck together like that. And just to reinforce it, you just want to pinch at the bottom. And just get your scissors and just cut it like that. Okay, so I'm going to put them back on the package so I can show you, explain something else too. So now you can see I've cut them and I put them back the same way that they were. Um, so when you cut them and you use the half lashes, what you want to do, if you're doing this for the first time, um, have this looking away from you. Um, so you want the flared end to obviously be at the end, with the longer end. So you're going to take the, um, the one that you would normally put on your inner eye, you're going to put that on the outside. And the same thing goes for the other side. Um, so if you throw those away and then the next time you come back, all you're going to have left is the ends, you're going to reverse it. So you want to turn the lash, yeah, you want to turn the lash facing, facing you and then that's the way you're going to put them on. Um, you're just going to flip it over and then put it on like that at the end. Um, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, I guess, if you do it yourself. Because see now, you don't want to put, um this part on the outside like you did the first time because the lash right here in the middle is longer so you just want to reverse it so the next time you use a mirror you put the left one on the right side and the right one on the left eye. I hope that makes sense. Alright so I am just going to grab that lash and like I said these are a lot easier to put on um, when you only have the half. If you can get them out of the package um, and you do need to wait the same amount of time to um, put the lash on. You're supposed to wait anywhere from 20 to 25 seconds. And also I prefer the, um, the black um, eyelash um, adhesive. So I am going to... Um, Put these on off camera. Um, I have another video on how to put on lashes, so I'll, I'll post the link down below. And it'll be the same for putting on these. Okay, so next, um, what you want to do is I don't like putting um, mascara on lashes, but whenever you do the half lashes, you do have to go and put just a little tiny bit where the um, lashes meet up. Um, so that would be the starting point of where your um, false lashes. So just run a little bit through right there, just so that it's not so obvious. Um, otherwise I don't ever put mascara on my lashes because it just it's not necessary. Um, Alright, so now I am going to go in with, um, actually I'm going to go in um, with this pencil here and this is from Essence and this is called Almost Famous. And it's just a blush and looks exactly like the container. So I'm just going to put that on the waterline. And you can pick these up at Ulta. Alright, now I am going to put my concealer on. And I don't usually show this, but... um. She does have it quite light here, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And this also helps your face look a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush by um, Sephora, and it's their concealer brush. And I'm just going to pounce the concealer into the skin. And at the same time, I'm dragging it up. I hope it wasn't black. 
back in the camera. Um, Alright, so that's done. Now I'm going back in with the pencil brush to make sure that it's clean. And I am going to pick up Wedge, which is a matte mid-tone um, brown. So that's just going all along the lower lash line. Put a little bit more. All right, next I'm going to pick up a little bit of the mystery, which is the dark matte brown. This one, just a little tiny bit, and you want to put this as close to the lash line as possible. If you have to go on top of the lashes, um, that ensures that you'll get really close to the, the lash line. Okay. Now I'm gonna put um, my mascara on the bottom lashes. Now I'm going to show contouring. I don't usually show contouring either, but she clearly has a ton of contour going on. Um, so I'm going to start with my temples. Actually, we're going to do this side, so I'm just going to put a little bit over here. They did a whole lot of photoshopping on her. Um, but I know part of it is also because they have the light source coming from above her. So it cast a lot of shadows um, and took away a lot of the fluff around the neck area. I mean, the, this part, your chin. Alright, so now I'm going to do a business card. And this just helps get your line really crisp. Um, and place that down right about there. And then you want it, this part you want it ending up um, pointing towards your corner of your lip. Pick up some of that color. The reason that I'm showing this, I don't usually show my contouring, is because um, she does have a lot of contour on, and it doesn't look like she has much else um, on the cheek area. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more, and you don't want to bring it down, you want to concentrate the color going up. And, I mean, the line isn't that harsh. If you think it's too harsh, um, then you can go ahead and blend it in a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going in with this color by, um, by Love and & Beauty, and it's called Translucent Press Powder. And I picked this up at Forever 21, and it says bronze. So I'm going to take some of that on my um, blush brush. And you don't want to take it up very high. You want to keep it almost in the same area as the contour. Alright, she does have a little bit of contour going down the sides of her nose. So I didn't put any more um, on the brush. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush. And what I like to do is just pinch the brush as I'm putting it um, down the sides of the nose. Alright. Um, next I'm going to powder my face and I'll be right back to show you what I'm going to put on the lips. Okay, so I realized when I was off camera that I forgot to show you um, contouring my chin, but um, that's pretty basic, so sorry. 
Alright, so next I'm taking this color by Smashbox. It's their the nude lip pencil and this is in the color Fair. And it just looks like a pink. It's pretty matte looking. Um, also these are waterproof. Um, but if you don't have this color, what you can use is um, 901B. It doesn't look exactly like it, but it's very close. Um, and this is by Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to I want to moisturize your lip first, your lips. Alright, so I'm not going to use any other product on the lip besides that, so I'll, I'm just going to finish that and I'll be right, right back. So here's the finished look with the lips. Um, there is not any gloss on the top. It looks like they're just matte lips. Um, um, if you just use the lip pencil that I showed you, it is um, a little bit dry, but it's not too dry like a regular lip liner, so you should be okay with that. Um, Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video.